What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Race. The suspense is palpable, and the question on everyone's lips is, where are the Bridgertons? Lady Whistledown, the ever-watchful gossip columnist of the ton, has seemingly vanished from the society pages, leaving us in the dark about the lives of our favorite aristocratic family. The Bridgerton saga has enthralled audiences with its captivating tales of love, scandal, and societal intrigue. However, a curious hush has fallen upon the Regency-era drama, and fans are left wondering about the delay in updates from the esteemed Lady Whistledown. I could not agree more, echoes through the drawing rooms and parlors of those eagerly awaiting news of the Bridgertons. The absence of Lady Whistledown's scandalous revelations has left a void in the social calendar, and fans are craving the wit and wisdom she so artfully imparts. But fear not, gentle viewer, for Lady Whistledown has returned from the shadows. Just when we thought she was silenced, the mysterious gossip columnist emerges with news that promises to quench our insatiable curiosity. Bridgerton Season 3 is set to grace our screens with the tantalizing drama we've all been craving. In an exciting revelation from Netflix, we learn that the steamy narrative will unfold in two parts. The first four episodes are scheduled to captivate audiences on May 16th, followed by the second half arriving on June 13th. Fans, rest assured that this season promises to deliver everything you've been eagerly anticipating. The world of high society and scandal is about to be reignited, and the Bridgertons will once again take center stage. First look photos have emerged, unveiling Penelope, Nicola Coughlin, and Colin Bridgerton, Luke Newton, as the main couple of the upcoming season. After a season-long crush, Penelope is poised to move forward, yet Love's intricate dance has more surprises in store. Colin, played by Luke Newton, extends a helping hand in her search for the one. But the Bridgerton family is going through some changes in Season 3. While many familiar faces will stay, some will leave. Most of the Bridgerton siblings will be back, like Eloise, played by Claudia Jesse, Benedict, played by Luke Thompson, and Colin, played by Luke Newton. The eldest Bridgerton, Anthony, played by Jonathan Bailey, will also return with his new wife, Kate Bridgerton, played by Simone Ashley. Penelope Featherington, known as Lady Whistledown and played by Nicola Coughlin, will be back too. Other returning characters include Lady Portia Featherington, Prudence Featherington, and Philippa Featherington, played by Polly Walker, Bessie Carter, and Harriet Keynes, respectively. In the upcoming Season 3 of Bridgerton, some familiar faces will make a return, including Adjoa Ando as Lady Danbury, Golda Rochevel as Queen Charlotte, and Ruth Jemmel as Violet Bridgerton. These actresses previously played the same roles in Queen Charlotte, A Bridgerton Story. However, there's a bit of sad news for fans of Daphne, the Duchess of Hastings. Phoebe Dinevor, who brought Daphne to life in Season 1, won't be reprising her role in Season 3. She shared this information in January, expressing her anticipation as a viewer for the upcoming season. To fill the void left by Daphne's absence, new characters will step into the spotlight. Hannah Dodd, recognized for her role in Enola Holmes 2, will take over the role of the elusive Francesca Bridgerton, succeeding Ruby Stokes. Additionally, three actors, Daniel Francis, Sam Phillips, and James Foon, are expected to portray Penelope's new suitors. Adding to the intrigue, Hannah New was announced in October 2022 to join as Lady Tilly Arnold, a wealthy widow valuing her independence. As Season 3 unfolds, the Bridgerton saga promises fresh faces and captivating storylines. Shondaland's much-anticipated Bridgerton Season 3, under the helm of new showrunner Jess Brownell, promises a captivating narrative centered around Penelope Featherington, played by Nicola Coughlin. As the season unfolds, Penelope finds herself at a crossroads, having abandoned her longtime crush on Colin Bridgerton, Luke Newton, after overhearing his hurtful words in the previous season. Determined to forge her path, Penelope sets her sights on marriage, seeking a partner who will grant her the independence to maintain her double life as the elusive Lady Whistledown. However, her attempts in the marriage market face comedic failures due to her lack of confidence. 
Meanwhile, Colin returns from his summer travels with a newfound confidence and style. However, he is disheartened to discover that Penelope, who once appreciated him for who he was, is now distant. To mend their friendship, Colin offers to mentor Penelope in the art of confidence, inadvertently sparking a transformation in her that complicates their relationship. The storyline delves into the aftermath of Penelope overhearing Colin's disparaging remarks, exploring the impact on her self-perception and the dynamics between the two characters. Nicola Coughlin remarked on the profound effect of such an incident, expressing her curiosity about Penelope's state as the season begins. Adding to the drama, Penelope faces a rift with Eloise, Claudia Jesse, who finds an unexpected friendship. As Penelope's presence in high society grows, keeping her Lady Whistledown alter ego a secret becomes increasingly challenging. The season also promises a glimpse into the post-marriage bliss of Kate and Anthony Bridgerton, showcasing their honeymoon phase without the complexities seen in Season 2. Simone Ashley hinted at a more vulnerable side to Kate, emphasizing the strength of acknowledging insecurities and fears. As Bridgerton Season 3 takes the stage, it seems the focus is shifting to the romantic entanglements of Colin and Penelope. However, keen-eyed fans who have followed the series since its inception know that the narrative trajectory originally set by the book series would have centered around Benedict, the second-born Bridgerton. The Bridgerton book series, if followed in order, would have placed Benedict in the spotlight for season 3. As the eldest unmarried sibling following Anthony's successful marriage to Kate, Benedict's journey unfolds in the novel An Offer from a Gentleman. This installment promises a tumultuous adventure not only in finding love but also in navigating the challenges of maintaining it. While the Netflix adaptation has altered the chronological order of the book series, seasons 1 and 2 have subtly hinted at shifts in Benedict's character that foreshadow a significant evolution in his perspective on life. Though a potential love interest for marriage has not yet materialized, Benedict's journey, marked by his artistic pursuits and disdain for societal norms, aligns with the groundwork laid in an offer from a gentleman. Bridgerton Season 3 is poised to continue delving into Benedict's evolving character, especially considering the trajectory established in the previous seasons. Even without an imminent love interest on the horizon, Benedict's exploration of art and his growing discontent with societal expectations bring him closer to the version of the character presented in an offer from a gentleman. Benedict's decision to reject the societal norms of the ton was influenced by a conversation with Eloise in Bridgerton Season 1. Even though he doesn't encounter his future wife during the London season, Luke Thompson's portrayal of Benedict Bridgerton and Claudia Jesse as Eloise Bridgerton in Season 1 played a pivotal role. While expressing his true feelings about Sir Granville's painting planted the idea that artistic pursuits could be accepted within the ton, it was Eloise's conversation that spurred Benedict to actively pursue his passion for art. Eloise challenging the destruction of his sketches not only reminded Benedict of the differing opportunities available to him and his sister, but also emphasized the unique chance he had encountered in Season 1, Episode 3 with Sir Granville. Their dialogue also sparked Benedict's quest for a different lifestyle within the ton's confines. However, contrary to the book's narrative, love for Benedict does not blossom within the ton's established boundaries. In an offer from a gentleman, Benedict meets Sophie, his love interest, at a Bridgerton masquerade ball without knowing anything about her. Yet their second encounter takes place outside of London, where Sophie works as a maid at a party Benedict attends. Having fallen for Sophie two years earlier, Benedict's decision to cease searching for a wife is challenged by Sophie's absence in society due to being the illegitimate daughter of the Earl of Penwood. This unique circumstance presents Benedict with a challenge not faced by his other Bridgerton siblings, the possibility of never seeing Sophie again. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.